Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Friends, today we are going to talk about one of the most important topic that is cell division. Let's first understand what do you mean by the word cell. So cell is basically defined as basic structural and functional unit of life. It means if there is a life, it is purely because of cell. We need to understand the another most important point, what it says that the life of an all the organisms available on this earth started from single cell. So we can say that the zygote was the single cell which resulted in the formation of the entire organism. Growth and development in all the organism purely depends on cell division. So this is three important points that we need to understand. First we need to now understand how to define cell division. So let us take one cell, this is a, which divides and form two cell or it can divide to form four cell. The cell which is dividing is called as parent cell and the cells which are formed they are called as daughter cells. So how can you define when one cell divides as two or four daughter cell then it is called as cell division. So it is a process in which one cell divides to form two or four. It cannot be and, it is or. When we talk about the doubling time, see every cell needs some time to double its number. So what we can say, the time taken by the cell to double its number is called as doubling time. Every time a new cell is born, so there is always a generation which comes. So the time between two generation is called as generation time. So what is generation time? So we can say that the time period between two successive generation is called as generation time. Let's understand this generation time with an example. Let us take there is a cell. Now this cell will divide and it will form two daughter cell. The two will divide to form four. Four divides to form eight. 8 divides to form 16 and the number is on. So this can be called as the generation. So we can say this is first generation, second, third and fourth. Whatever is the time between them is the generation time. We need to understand generally generation and doubling time is same. So when one cell divides to form two cell, the two cells will not divide suddenly. They will take some time to prepare themselves, to develop themselves and finally they become ready to divide and that sometime we call it as cell cycle. So what we need to understand, let's see the cell cycle in detail. So first of all we need to understand what is cell cycle. You can say it is defined as a sequential events or changes that takes place in the life of dividing cell. A cell will show certain changes like growth, development, maturity and all these changes what you see in the life of dividing cell we call it as a cell cycle. So what we need to understand here cell cycle is divided into two major parts most important interface and it is M phase. When we talk about interface 95% of the Cell division is interphase and 5% is M phase. Interphase is further divided into G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. Where M phase is called as mitotic phase and it is divided into P mat. P mat, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. These are the four stages or major stages of M phase. Friends, let's understand how to draw a cell cycle. So we draw a circle and center. What we need to understand that M phase is the smallest one and the G1, S and G2 among three the S phase is taking more time. So this is how you can draw the cell cycle. Here we are going to label this area from G1, S and G2 they make up the interface. Let's understand what are the other parts. This is M phase which is also called as mitotic phase divided into four stages as P mat 
this is G1 phase S G2. So we need to understand the full forms of these terms. So when we talk about G1 phase, what exactly it means? The two arrows which are going out of the cell cycle, one forms the sister cell, another one the cell undergoes differentiation. So interphase when we talk about earlier the scientists they used to call interphase as the resting phase. It means the cell is resting and not doing anything. But the cell is not resting. It is preparing for the next cell division. Now we have proven it. So interphase is now no more called as resting phase. It is called as preparatory phase. Let's understand the full form. So when we use the word G1, what exactly it means? The word G1 stands for gap 1 phase, growth 1 phase or it is called as post mitotic phase. When we talk about S phase, it is synthesis or synthetic phase. When we talk about G2 phase, it is gap 2, growth 2 or pre mitotic phase because it comes before M phase. We need to understand and explore these phases in detail. So let's understand when we talk about G1 phase, the gap 1, growth 1 or post mitotic phase, what exactly happens here? So we will say that there is a synthesis of protein, energy and all material required for DNA replication. Make it very much clear. G1 phase synthesizes material required for DNA replication but no DNA replication takes place in G1 phase. Once the material is ready it enters in S phase, the synthesis or synthetic phase. What happens in this? DNA replication takes place. The number of DNA doubles, size of nucleus increases but most important is that the number of chromosome remains same only number of DNA doubles. Most important there is synthesis of histone protein. One of the protein required for packaging of DNA into chromosome. When we talk about G2 phase, it is gap 2, growth 2 or pre mitotic phase. What happens in this? Now there is synthesis of tubulin protein, synthesis of spindle fiber takes place. Since the cell is going to divide, it means all the cell organelles, they must be double in number. So the cell organelle duplication takes place. Centrosomes divides to form centrioles. But centrioles are found only in animal cell. So in case of plant cell division, this step will be missing. And finally the cell enters in the M phase, which is actual dividing phase. Let us take these to be daughter cells formed. So there is one opportunity that they withdraw from the cell cycle and they undergo differentiation. It means they become a permanent cell or non-dividing cell. Sometimes they withdraw but they don't become permanent cell. They go in G0 phase which is called as gap 0 or quiescent stage. From quiescent stage the cell can come back in the G1 phase to continue the cell cycle. So let us assume that the cell has left the G0 but has not entered in G1 phase means the cell is lost and that cell become the cancerous cell. So the loss of the cell over the cell cycle leads to the formation of cancerous cell. Friends let's understand some terminologies before starting with the cell division. First is cytokinesis. What exactly you mean by the word? When we talk about cytokinesis the word cyto means the cell or the cytoplasm. And the word kinesis means division. So what is cytokinesis? It is defined as division of cytoplasm or the cell. The next term very important is karyokinesis. What is karyo? Karyo means nucleus. When I say kinesis, it means division. So what is karyokinesis? It is defined as the division of the nucleus. These are key terms involved in cell division. When we talk about the term centriole, we need to understand very important it is found only in animal cell. It is not found in plant cell. So we can say that it is absent. 
when you talk about centriole it is made up of somewhat like this two centriole perpendicular to each other and they give rise to certain rays these rays are called as aster rays centrioles are made up of special protein called tubulin and the rays are aster rays which can be also called as aster fibers it has lots of important properties in cell division when aster rays are involved then it is called as astral cell division found only in animal cell when we talk about an astral cell division what exactly it means it means there is no formation of aster rays cell division taking place without aster rays so they are found in plant cell because plant cell do not have centrioles what they have is polar body and polar body they never give out aster rays as a result it is an astral cell division when we talk about mitotic apparatus one of the most important term to understand so let's understand with a diagram first i will be drawing a centriole and since there are two centrioles present so these are the two centrioles which are made up of tubulin protein they give out aster rays both the centrioles are joined to each other they are connected to each other by the help of spindle fiber so the entire setup now centriole aster rays and the spindle fiber together makes the mitotic apparatus so this is what is mitotic apparatus all about entire setup without any chromosome and spindle fibers they are kinetic in nature means they move towards each other when i draw a chromosome so this is how we can draw a simple chromosome where this part is called as centromere and this is called as chromatid these two are sister chromatids what we need to understand here one most important word called as kinetochore first we need to understand that the chromosome when they are attached to the spindle fiber they are attached only by the centromere so this small protein like structure which connects the spindle fiber and the centromere together that entire set is called as kinetochore so the most important part we need to understand when we talk about the next part let's understand the basic term which i will be using for most of the time in explanation that is a chromatin material it is a genetic material this chromatin material undergoes condensation forms chromatid and it further undergoes condensation to form chromosome so we can put it in this way chromatin material undergoes condensation forming chromatid and these chromatids they condense to form chromosome and if the chromosome recoils then it forms chromatid which further recoils to form chromatin material remember these terms there are three major types of cell division that is amitosis mitosis and meiosis which i will be covering in the next video friends do give a like if you have understood the concept nicely do share subscribe keep helping thank you very much